Return to the Rovers? Who is Carla Connor actress Alison King? What's her Coronation Street comeback storyline and what else has she starred in? Her character has been involved in a number of major storylines including cheating scandals, alcoholism and gambling addiction. Alison King is set to make a huge return to Coronation Street after her character Carla Connor ran off to Devon following her fling with Robert Preston. Hurtling back onto our screens this Christmas, the former underworld boss is set to cause May. Here's what we know about her festive return. What will Carla Connor's return storyline be? The Sun exclusively revealed earlier this month that Carla Connor will be giving old flame Peter Barlow a dose of his own medicine when she ends up bedding his half-brother Daniel Osborne. A source said, Carla has always been a character who gets what she wants. On her return to the cobbles this Christmas, she'll really stir things up by sleeping with Daniel, Peter's half-brother. They added, Peter tries to play it like he doesn't care, but he clearly does and Daniel takes great pleasure in winding him up, knowing their history together. Who is Alison King? Alison King is a 44-year-old English actress who is best known for her role as Carla Connor in Coronation Street. She was raised as a Christ Adolfian in Leicester and attended the Christ Adolfian Church at Westleigh. Alison moved to Newquay when she was 18 before later enrolling at the North Cheshire Theatre School when she was 22. She managed to bag her first TV role while she was there and played hair salon crimper Helen in Brookside. Alison appeared in a number of TV series including Cutting It, Cold Feet and Doctors before landing her role in Coronation Street. She also starred as Linda Block in Dream Team and Rebecca in Help. Since leaving the cobbles last year she has taken some time off acting. Who is Alison King's character Carla Connor on Coronation Street? Carla Connor is a feisty businesswoman who had a number of major storylines in the soap. This included cheating scandals, gambling addiction, alcoholism and dobbing in her murderer half-brother Rob Donovan, Mark Bayless. Carla first arrived on Coronation Street in 2006 after inheriting her late husband Paul's, Sean Gallagher, share of Underworld after he died in a car crash. Paul was the older brother of Michelle, Kyle Marsh, and Liam, Rob James Collier, who he worked with. Carla and Liam were in denial about their feelings for one another and she ended up marrying Tony Gordon, Gray O'Brien. Meanwhile, Liam married Maria. Samia Longchambon. The pair ended up having a fling after Liam was left devastated by his the death of his baby son, who was stillborn. Tony ended up finding out that they had slept together and killed Liam in a hit and run. She later fell for Peter Barlow, a recovering alcoholic, as she began to develop a drinking problem. However, Peter rejected her to marry Leanne Battersby, Jane Danson and Carla ended up going out with nasty business owner Frank Foster, Andrew Lance. She ended up breaking off their engagement after finally realizing that he was just a substitute for Peter. Frank didn't take this well and ended up raping Carla, which led her to attempt suicide. Carla and Peter later began an affair, which was exposed in court and helped Frank get acquitted. But he met a grisly end when he was murdered by his own mum in the Knicker factory. Carla and Peter then married in 2013 but he soon embarked on an affair with Tina McIntyre. When she found out she dumped him but ended up miscarrying her baby due to the stress. She later went out with and married Nick Tilsley, Ben Price, but Tracy Barlow, Kate Ford, revealed that Carla had cheated on Nick with her ex-husband Robert Preston, Tristan Jamil. Nick split up with Carla and she moved to Devon alone. Why did Alison King leave Coronation Street? The Sun revealed in 2015 that Alison was set to leave, citing creative reasons. But she later admitted she quit after being exhausted by the role. She said, It's incredibly hard. A lot of Carla's stories are high octane, emotional stuff. Learning it takes up my weekends and it can be exhausting to do. She left last May and insisted it was for good. But, but, 